so, you know, I don't have enough time or I don't have enough money or almost never why someone doesn't take action on an opportunity they're considering, something you're inviting them to do, etc. I mean, there are edge cases, but 99% of the time, it's, it's not they don't have the time, it's not they don't have the money, because if it was important enough, they could find the time. If it was important enough, they could find the money. Right? Actually, I'll share with you, um, this is a, a real experience I had. So one of the higher end uh, offers we, we make occasionally is we have a publishing imprint, Miracy Press where someone who's writing a book that is specifically geared to coaches, consultants, expertise-based entrepreneurs, the kind of people that we serve, that we have an audience of. So we can publish that book and it's a paid service. Um, we don't accept everyone. The book's gotta be good, obviously. Um, but you know, not only do we publish the book, we help with the marketing, we, there's access to our audience. It's a, it's a very comprehensive package. And the investment for that is significant. It's m many tens of thousands of dollars. And a few years ago, I had someone apply for this and I was having a conversation. Okay, tell me about your business. Tell me where you're at. Tell me what you're hoping this book will do for you. And it became abundantly clear this person was not ready for this activity. And it, it didn't make sense, right? There were fundamentals in their business that had to be put in place first. Um, and I couldn't in good conscience take their money. I was like, this is just not, it's not what you need. It's not going to serve you. It's going to be a waste. And I said, but you know, there's a lot that you could gain by getting the right foundations in place in your business. You could make a lot of money very quickly, probably. We can help you do that. And we have our ACES Business Acceleration Program that can do it. Now, ACES is a not insignificant investment. It's in the range of about $20,000. So it's not nothing, but it's a lot less than what this person applied and was excited to do. And I'll never forget the reaction. They're like, I don't think I can afford that right now, right? Because it wasn't like a rational, yes, I can afford it. It was like an emotional, I want to do this thing. I like the idea of writing and publishing my book, right? You're buying into a fantasy. Now, again, that wasn't the right move for that person. I, I didn't let them do it. But, you know, I don't have enough money is not the real objection. It's not the real resistance. I don't have enough time is not the real thing. It's like either this is not what I want for whatever reason, or I don't believe it will work for me or I don't believe I can do it. And, you know, I, I really push people hard on the money and time objection, not because I'm trying to convince them to do anything, but I, I think it's dishonest with yourself, right? If, if you don't want this outcome, then be honest with yourself about it. If you don't think I can deliver that outcome, that's fine. You can tell me, I'm not, you're not gonna hurt my feelings, right? But explore why, if you don't believe in yourself that you can't do it, know that. And whether you choose to do anything with it or not, that's up to you. But I'm, I'm a big proponent of just intellectual honesty with yourself. Mm -hmm.